Praise God. I'm Mary Wakani. I, I want to give a testimony of what God has done. Ni muliletea mizigo yangu. Na sasa mizigo ni meona imeodoka. So I have to come and give thanks. There is a time two weeks ago I was here. Uh, before I came here, my sister-in-law had uh, called me. Somebody, the, the, in somebody, a relative. Akaniyabia, please send me this money. So I asked her why. Akaniyabia, mama ni, eh, huyu ni mkoji watu mempeleka. We, we were, went to hospital. We were told to take an x-ray. Alikuwa na pain, a lot of pain in the chest. And then before that, alikuwa na these nerves here. Silikuwa na shida. Sasa, when she wants to board a bus, yeah, and I prefer a Nissan because even lifting the, the leg was a problem. Kuwoka, she could walk very, you know, and you could, you could see she's training in her walking. And even the very day she went to hospital, the first time, she was lifted by a neighbor. She, was, she got a lift from a neighbor. She could not even take herself. So I came here, and after the service, like today, I told him, can you get me just a bottle of blood of Jesus? I have a patient. I have somebody I want to take to. I can be up and just wait there. I'm going to give you mine. I'm sacrificing mine. So he went there. He came and gave me the, the blood of Jesus. So I told my sister-in-law, before you take this blood of Jesus, repent and pray. Because when you repent, you, you, you bring down any accusation ground of Satan, I, you know, because of sin. Because the word of God, the only thing which can separate us from God is sin. sin. It's the one that can block our breakthrough. So you repent so that you are good to hear accusation of the enemy. And then also when you repent, it will give, restore your authority as a believer Amen. in the name of Jesus. So Amen. I told I had to explain. Because most of the times, you know, they are born again. Mutu anasema alioba jioni. Ulioba asubu. Lakini the way I've learned here, repentance is a way of life here. Yeah. So I told her, repent, yeah. please. And I gave her my examples when I came here. The first prophetic screening, I went and told people, me, I have stopped pointing at people. Yeah. <laughs> I told them, me, I, I don't want to see anybody, judge anybody, know whether you are born again or whatever. I want to see people as people. You see people as people because I, I felt, you know, you may think you are right, but you know, when God exposes you, he does it for your good. Yeah. yeah. So, he, he, you know, he says, those he loves, he corrects. <laughs> when God corrects, you take it with joy and say, yes. it is good. So I, I took, I, I told her and she understood why I'm saying. Amen. So today when I was coming, I said, I, let me call her. I called her. I asked, I asked her, how are you? Are you okay? She told me, yeah, I got well. Even now, I've enrolled for a course. I'm going. When I had the course, the course needs moving off your legs. So I told her, that is God who has done it. But I also would want you to come and connect with the altar. She told me, we shall talk in the evening. So there's something, something I noted about when Muchaga Wao, you know, she lost her husband, my brother. When, I too, when the apostle was anointing the soil, he said financial breakthrough. So the enemy has been fighting them in with the sickness. When the money comes, and that one, I believe God has, it, that one is defeated in Jesus' name. That door is closed. I, I thank God for that. She is well. Amen. She is healed. Hallelujah. Blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. At the end of they said they cannot see anything. Yes. At Migu, ame pereka, ame pereka. Amen. But when she took the blood of Jesus, she Amen. received her healing. Yes. So let me just, just give just one about myself. When I came for the courts of heaven, um, through the courts of heaven, the judge of all said, said, I'm healed. I had a back pain. Nilikuwa na pain. And this had also some time. There is a time during this COVID-19. All of a sudden, I could kneel and I wake up well. Then all of a sudden, I could kneel. When, I'm walk, uh, when I want to wake up, I feel like collapsing. I have to get things to hold, hold on. on to. There was very sharp pain around. I said, hey, this, this age has come all of a sudden. I thought it's gradual. So I said, my. So I kept on. When I came here, it has been going, going out and out. And finally, from that time, I feel so relieved. Yeah. I saw, I feel, that time I felt relieved, like something has been taken away from me. 
So I thank God for that. Amen. Amen. How much? And before you give the microphone, Mama, you say um, you gave your sister-in-law the blood of the Jesus. The blood of Jesus. How yeah. much was it? It was free. It was free. free. <laughs> it amen. was free. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen and amen.